everyone. Welcome. Let me see who's here. Turn this down a little bit. We're going to be doing um, the horses in the field part two. Okay, and I'm going to jump on here on Facebook and let everybody know we're starting. going to give everybody a few minutes. Could you turn yours down, please? Thank you. Okay, let's see. All right. That should work. Okay. Now I'm going to come back over. Okay, here's everybody. Hi, all. Okay, let me see if I'm on here now. Let me turn it up. How's everybody? Oh, Bonnie Green. Trish, Juliet. We're getting a whole different crowd this time. Yay. I wonder who all is painting. <laughs> Okay, I'm just playing around with all my little stuff. Uh-oh, turn that down. Okay. Erica! <laughs> okay, good. Can you all hear me okay? I see eight of you are on already. I hope we go for a record. Just watching today. Okay. Hi, Simply. <laughs> Simply Van Vanessa. Oh, are you new here? Or are you under a an alias? <laughs> Sound is good. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm going to, oh good, thanks. I'm glad you could hear me. Welcome all of you. My name is Angie Green. I am with Painting with Fibromyalgia on Facebook. And of course, Painting with Fibromyalgia here on YouTube. And, oh, welcome, Simply. I hope I could just call you simply, <laughs> unless you want to phonet phonetically spell your name out. Leanne, good morning. I say good morning because Leanne is, is joining us from Australia, from Perth, Australia. So what we do here is paint together, chat together. We watch, we join in. I try to encourage everybody to paint in a relaxed way take breaks, stop, get up, move around, sneak in, sneak out. <laughs> so we're going to be painting the part two of um, Horses in the Field. We break up our paintings a lot of times because um, if they go past an hour, a lot of us that join me and paint with me are not up to that. So, and a lot of times I like to throw in some tips to, to make painting easier. I'm so happy to see you guys here. Free Your Mind Art is here. Hello, welcome. Okay, good day. <laughs> uh, that's, all, that's all we know in Australia talk, right? <laughs> I know a little bit more because I have family in Australia. 
Oh, it's good seeing all of you. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over my camera to my canvas. Okay. And I have what looks kind of weird here. You see my horses in kind of like a ghosty kind of look because I want to paint the horses with you, but I also wanted to see where I was going to place them. So I did kind of a, a white shadow on there. So, um, but I'm going to be filling them in. So this is, this is going to be the part two of the painting today and this is where we're going to be adding the horses part one you'll see in the videos where we did the um rainbow the sky the clouds and the lavender in the field the grasses and all that so now we're going to be putting our subject in and um i'm going to walk us through that I don't have horses, I never did. So I had to do a little bit of a study to see what they look like. Hopefully I'll get close and they'll look like horses and not dogs. <laughs> but you know what, if I don't get things perfect, like I encourage you, don't worry about it. It's the process, enjoy the process, okay? All righty. So, who's on? Oh, yay! Is that Jamie, her mom, on, or is uh, Belinda on? Oh, Belinda's on, yay! Okay, so we chose this painting uh, from when we chatted together. In the past, we had like a little chat without painting, and uh, I let someone from the audience choose the painting, and that person was Peyton, who is, how old is Peyton? 10? I can't remember. Belinda, let us know how old Peyton is. Anyways, Belinda's granddaughter. So, hi, Peyton. Yay. So, we're doing her, her choice. And her choice was um, horses in the field. And she likes purple. So, that's why we picked this painting. All right. So, I put a big horse here in the foreground. You might not be able to see it that well yet. And I put a baby horse here, and I'm gonna have another uh, horse up there running. Okay, so. The answer, she likes the ghostly horses. You like the, they're a little creepy looking to me. <laughs> I'm gonna put some more paints out. I put my yellow out. I'm gonna put some, um, I don't know if you could, yeah, you can see my yellow. I'm gonna put some yellow ochre right here. And um, if you want a close-up of my palette, you can always ask me to uh, go directly on the palette. She says she's 10. 10, okay. I knew you were close to my granddaughter's age. My granddaughter, Ariana, is 11. And I knew you guys were close. So... Yeah, your grandma and I talk about you grandchildren once in a while because you are the you are the apple of our eyes. You are where our hearts are, you grandchildren. There's nothing like a grand grandparent grandchild relationship. I can tell you that for sure. Nothing like it. Okay, so I, I might need a little bit more brown than that. I just dipped into it. Wipe that off before I make a huge, huge mess. I don't like my, to make my messes at the very beginning. <laughs> Save that toward the end. Okay, so I put some uh, burnt umber, some yellow ochre, some cad yellow, or you could use hands of yellow. And I like titanium buff. It's a, it's a, uh, a darker white, kind of a natural looking white. I might need that to uh, tone some things down. And uh, I think I'm gonna put a little phalo blue on here. And just in case I wanna do a little bit of a reflection. 
and I'm going to put um, making a lot of noise here trying to sound like I'm doing something important I'm gonna put some titanium white because I don't want to go looking for anything and I'm using an angle brush that's the brush I keep showing you on almost all my videos the one is slanted I am this is basically this is my big brush staple right here it's a small to medium size and it has a slant on it like that and it just makes it a little easier to follow a line and know where you're going so I kind of go the direction of the brush so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use this uh, titanium buff and a little bit of brown mix those two together and I'm going to start outlining and I'm going to be using layers <clears throat> and uh, this is going to uh, it will be a little bit like a portrait as far as blending it's going to be a little bit like uh, skin tones okay except it's a horse so I'm doing the outline of the horse so you can see it. It has a little bit of a sway up here, uh, down there, and then it's going to go up. And then his head is going to come down. Yay, Peyton, you get to finally see the horse. And then, <clears throat> then I'm going to come down with a neck like that. And then for this horse, you're gonna see this cheek come out. All right. And then you're gonna see him down here eating grass. Okay. So that's part of the outline. Now, I'm gonna come that right here. And they have what I call uh, backwards elbows on that back leg I just say that because it's easier and they look like they're wearing high heel shoes um, I explain things in kind of a goofy way but you do get it I think when I explain it because we're not all horse people and I'm telling you people that are horse people they're horse people I don't know if any of you out there are horse people, but um, really, people that love horses, they're, they're, they love horses. I think they're more horse people than dog people are dog people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, just a one-of-a-kind group of cool people. All right. So that would be awesome. Um... I have gone horseback riding before and when you're new at it and you don't know what you're doing and you're horseback riding, um, you might remember that experience for days afterwards. Just like if you're uh, riding a bike, uh, those little racer bikes with the seats, you remember that experience for a long time too, for days. It's almost like you have to have the seat removed, um, if you can identify with that. Okay, so I am putting this back leg here, and it's going to have a knobby knee, so it's going to stick out a little bit on the sides, and then keep coming down. Well, I got it a little too obvious. And keep coming down. So I need to make it a little darker so you can see it a little better. Okay, and then this leg here is going to come down like this. And same thing, wear the high heel shoes. Okay, and then back here. So I'm just throwing this on real quick. Legs are probably a little too thick, but that's okay. When you paint something you haven't painted before, it's probably a good idea to have a picture of it 
on your easel I have one at the top but I can't change my camera at this point so you can see what I'm talking about but I do have a reference in my view of this horse that I'm painting and uh, also in the group that I have painting with fibromyalgia I have the same references um, on the group for those that want to uh, get a little bit of help painting this and babe, if you could kind of let me know what people are like saying. Said, is there any way to brighten the painting? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's gonna get brighter and brighter. Yeah. It's gonna get brighter and brighter. I'm just putting this first la layer down of the light brown. It's a very neutral layer. And then I'm gonna be putting the highlights in there, which will really brighten it up. And then I'm gonna be putting the um the shadows in there as well okay so this is the first horse okay and then I'm going to I think I'll do some um, burnt umber and some phthalo blue together and I'm gonna uh, get this tail here and do this tail And just bring it down like that and then put a little bit of a light color if they're having trouble hearing me I can move my mic no one said anything. okay and I just kind of like to know how everyone's doing I'm gonna give a quick little shout out to Bonnie um, she might pop in if she's up to it she just had surgery for her tens I nickname it TENS unit, something to help her with her pain. And um, she's right now in the most painful stage of recovery at the beginning. So I'm just giving a shout out to her and tell her that uh, we're thinking about her. Okay. Vera Campbell's out. Vera? Hi, Vera. I'm so happy you all are joining me. I didn't refresh at first, and I thought I was going to be talking to myself. So I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled that that didn't happen. Okay, so while I have, I mixed a little phthalo blue, and let me see if you could see it. <clears throat> I'm going to switch my, uh, I'm going to switch my camera over a little bit so you could see. Uh, the palette and honey if you could remind me to switch it back because I tend to forget oh, okay. okay so let's see what do we have I'll move this up just a wee bit try not to make too much of a mess okay so this is the phthalo blue right here and I'm just taking some of this uh, brown this burnt umber and I'm mixing the two together to get a very dark dark color so it ends up just a very dark kind of muddy color that's close to black and I'm gonna be using that to put some um, some shot some shading on the horse here so you're you're gonna start seeing it better I'm starting with right here where the neck is and I'm also coming down these legs more on the right. The back of the leg is going to be uh, <clears throat> lighter. Right here I have the dark. I, I think uh, Leanne's telling you to push it down. Push the palette down? Yeah, I think so. It's like some of what you're doing is at the top of the page. Okay. I think that should be better now. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, I'm going to grab a little brown here. And should brown. you switch? Oh, babe, you were supposed to tell me that when I start painting. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, I always forget. Once I start painting, babe, it's, it's got, it's, I have to have people seeing what I'm doing. Um, 
Okay, so I'm, I'm putting this dark color here on the bottom part of the legs. Okay, I don't have the feet yet. Do you call them feet? <laughs> and the back of his, his hind, that's a leg. And that's what's coming down here. So you see the very dark. And then I'm going to have some uh, bristles of, of hair coming up here. So I'm just taking my brush and putting it on his neck and then just, just, whoops, bringing it up in a line going outward, just and like that. Hooves. Kind of like, oh, hooves, kind of like you would do if you were doing, making grass, okay? Now, he's going to have some ears, so he's going to have ear here. And it looks kind of like an elf ear. I'm going to use this real dark color so you can see it. And then another point this way. Now, from what I hear when I was looking up stuff about horses, because I get very nerdy about things I'm going to paint sometimes, if I don't know enough about it, I'm going to put a little of that titanium bluff in a little bit. Oh. I didn't want to, I had green, I had blue on my brush. I turned it a little too green. So I stuck that in the um, yellow. Okay, mixed it in real good. Anyways, so from what I understand in my little facts that I looked up, the back of the ear right here, um, horses, where their ears are pointing, that's the direction they're looking. This is yellow ochre. So where their ears are pointing, that's the direction they're looking. Interesting, right? And I have this yellow ochre. I'm coming here with it. I really want to orange it up a little bit, so I'll do that later. Put a little cad in there. I'm also going to come down here. I'm trying to get some highlights so that you all will see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's waiting for the high heels. Oh, I'll get the high heels later. What I'm doing right now is using the same colors that I have on my brush where I need them, basically. And that helps conserve the paint so I'm not wasting paint. So where I have my highlights, I'm throwing some highlights on everywhere that I have them. Um, and that way I'm not wasting paint going back and forth and back and forth. So you'll see the high heels when I get to that white part. That's going to be pretty toward the end. All right. And I think I'm going to throw some cad yellow on here. Okay. And I'm just painting toward the, the way the muscles look. Okay, so I'm going with the painting as if I'm creating the animal. I'm going to stick that eye on there when I in the nostrils when I get to uh, more of the the dark colors again. Okay, so right now he doesn't have any nostrils. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of cad red if I have any out. If I don't, I'll use, I'll just use this quinacridone because that's what I have out. And um, I learned a long time ago that um, you could achieve similar uh, effects with so many different colors that you don't have to get hung up. You don't have to say, I can't paint that picture because I don't have a specific color that someone else is using. All right, so I'm gonna do my yellow and my, um, and my quinacridone, yellow and quinacridone. Can they see this? Sort of. I only have a very small space to work with my yellow and quinacridone it's a little too green 
I'm gonna switch these, uh, I'm gonna switch this brush out because I'm not getting the color I want because it's got, it's got too much stuff in it. So I'm gonna use another brush. Because green is not the color of, that's not the color of the horse that I want. All right. Now, let's see. I'm gonna move these again. Give me a second. I'll move this down again. Or better yet, I'm gonna go this direction. Okay. Now I have my yellow and I have my quinacridone magenta and that's the color I wanted. Okay. Yellow quinacridone magenta. I'm going into my yellow ochre and toning it down. And now I'm getting to more of the colors that I wanted for this horse. So it's an, another deal of um, layering and blending. So here we are putting more red into this horse. And I'm gonna be adding more yellow Now he's starting to show up. Is he showing up a little bit better? If I don't get feedback from you, I have no feedback. So I'm just uh, hoping that um, everyone is with me. So I need feedback. Okay. Adding a little bit of brown. Honey? Yes? Am I getting any feedback at all? Uh, like, can they see it better? Okay. That's what Elena says. Everyone is quiet today. Yeah. What's up with that? Well, it's a little bit more detailed than I normally do. It's a little bit more, um, what do you call it? Realistic than I normally do on here. All right. So, now... <clears throat> A little bit of this just to give it a little highlight. And a little highlight here. Lena says looking good. You're liking it? Trish got thumbs up. Thumbs up? Well, that's awesome. Thumbs up, everybody. I forget about those features, to tell you the truth. I get into painting, and um, I forget to tell you guys to give me thumbs ups and that kind of stuff. Oh, somebody says, Devon? Uh-huh. Because I don't know if it's me, but Canva's camera seems out of focus. Oh, is it out of focus? Well, I'm glad you're telling me now, because it probably is, so let me fix that. Let me fix it. I probably have it where it's not, uh, where it's uh, adjust itself. And I can't have that. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Yes, I have auto adjust. That's bad, bad, bad. Okay. Okay. Better? Don't be afraid to give Danielle me feedback. Said, Danielle said, that's a lot better, but she just said it, so I don't know how doesn't delay. <laughs> well, she, she probably, uh, it probably show, showed a difference right away as I was Vera doing says, it. I got, okay, got to go. Okay. And she says, Angie, I love it. Oh, okay. Well, well, take care. I'm going to put some more colors in here. In the meantime, put some more reddish color in there. Peyton likes the way you're blending the colors. You like it, Peyton? Peyton, do you like art? Okay. All right. A little yellow. So you guys get the drift, right? Your daughter likes the earrings. You like the, <laughs> you like the earrings, Elena? 
These are those crazy earrings I got that I did a live on uh, when we did our playing in the secondhand store. I'll show you guys later toward the end. All right, so I'm blending some of this in. And I need to get a really dark color, get my really dark, dark color again because I accidentally blended it out and put this, highlight this muscle a little bit in here again. Get my darker. There we go. There we go. All right. And then I'd like to get my more reddish color. Okay, my reddish brown, and I'm doing the middle. And then a little of this dark again, and I'm gonna come up here a little bit. All right, and then a little touch of that, a little yellow, and putting some of this in here. All right, so you see where the colors are, you know, it's almost like uh, doing a portrait is starting to come together. All right, so that's happening. And then, let's see. Let's see, it kind of, there we go, there we go. So that's pretty, pretty getting there, pretty getting there. Okay, now I have to throw some eyes on there and move on. And then we could tweak later. Okay, so he has some eyes now. And he's got a nostril. And he's got a mouth. Okay. Let me get my, my color a little bit better for him because his face got left out of the color. Now I'll get more of this in here and more of that. And then a little bit of yellow. So it's blending, I don't know, I've just been blending. I've been into blending lately, what's that about? And Don't want him to look like a dog, so he's got to have a place where his eye is going to be on the other side. Okay, so that's pretty much, pretty much, and then I have to, uh, I have to put the high heel shoes on. I didn't forget, Leanne. Did anybody else come in? Same folks? Same folks. Okay. Vera, Vera left before she could Yeah, I knew Vera had to go. Okay, now I'm getting my titanium, my, my titanium bluff, and I mixed it with a little titanium white because he's got some white high heel shoes on um, with some um, heel, with some leg warmers. Actually, it's, it's, it's his coloring. I'm being silly. But I don't want it to look like uh, so stark white. I don't know. It just looks a little too, doesn't look right in a painting. So I'm just doing his high heel shoes. He's on his tippy toes in his shoes. Julia Dunbar says, doing very good blending. Yeah. I, I don't know. If there's any horse people, don't even tell me because then that I feel that pressure. Yes. <laughs> MWB Arts. Uh huh. It says hello. Hi. That's uh, Mark, I think. Is that Mark? Thank you for joining me. <laughs> um. And then let's see. He thinks you're really putting high heels on. It looks like high heels, but that's what they. I I should show you my. I should show you my. Uh, <laughs> Well, that was wrong. I'm getting a little carried away. You're right. I'm getting a little carried away. The front doesn't have the high heels. There we go. And then all I have to do is add my grass in there to fix it up a little bit. 
But anyhow. The tacky painter showed up. The tacky painter. All right, so I kind of, I don't know if you can see the horse. I might have to outline him a little bit. I might have to outline him because he's a little, he looks a little dark on the, um, on the video. And a lot of times that tells you something in real life that you might not see. And the nice part about doing these things on video is uh, you see what adjustments you have to make. It's almost like stepping back and looking at a painting. It's, a, it's, it's the advantage that you have besides making your mistakes in front of everyone. Your, event, your advantage is also seeing what it looks like if you were to look at it from a distance. And um, so that's so that's the adjustment I'm making here. And then I'm gonna do just the little outline. Okay, and a little more obvious nostrils there. Okay, all right, so, so, a little bit more, a little whiter there, a little bit whiter, it wasn't quite white enough, a little whiter on the on the feed here and a little whiter here okay guys so that's the one horse how am I doing on time 736 oh that's not too bad now we have a baby horse to do I'm gonna get that one done I have my colors out so it shouldn't be that hard I'm gonna add a little bit of water a little quinacridone Slimer said that made, made him show up better. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, uh, sometimes that's what's needed with these paintings is a little bit of an outline. Okay, so I'm adding a little yellow and a little quinacridone. I think I'm going to add a little uh, uh, buff white here. He says his head is pretty. You like his head? All right. We're going to have to get you set up for painting, Peyton. I might have to do, make a, do a little surprise for you. I'm going to do a little surprise for you. I can't tell you what that is, though, because then it won't be a surprise. Okay. So I'm just painting the, the baby horse. So you guys can see that. Go a little bit faster. Baby horse shouldn't take much because it's Gina small. Gina says hi. Hi, Gina. Hi. Okay, there's the baby. And there's the baby there. Now, I'm going to Darken the baby up in places so that you can see it better. Trish Phillips says, question, how how come you can't stay on longer? Why is there a time limit? Oh, the reason why is because I'm a transition so I can tell you. Whoops, that's not what I want. I don't want my palette. Hang on. Hang on. Oh boy. Oh boy, let me see. <laughs> All right. Okay. The reason why is because uh, a lot of people that follow me, most of the people that follow me, follow me because I cater towards those who have chronic pain. So if I paint forever, <laughs> If I drag it out, then those who have chronic pain will feel discouraged, especially if 
they are painting with me and they are starting to get stiff and so forth and so on. So the reason why I try to give myself a time limit is not because of YouTube, because with a live, I can paint as long as I want. And sometimes, some uh, videos I have of me painting on my own just for the fun of it, and I don't know if I kept them up, but I'm just painting and painting. But when I paint with you as a group, as a plan live, I try to limit it so that everyone is uh, not taken to their full limit and they can still relax and paint and so forth then what I do is I stop it and I make a part two or part three so I'm gonna <laughs> so that's why I'm going to uh, switch back over switch back over and let's see I think I'll do I think I'll do uh, he says, I got you. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. So, now... Elena I, left. Elena, okay. Her phone died. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, now I'm going to be uh, uh, putting some shadows in on the, on the horse, on the baby horse. So, you can see his where his legs are and you can see where his bottom is I'm gonna highlight that a little bit all right and I'm gonna highlight that leg a little bit bring that down highlight that bottom and then this leg all right Highlight this a little. Highlight this face. And then here. And then here. I'm gonna go in here and then make a little brownish area for the ear and this ear. And then I'm gonna make an eye. Gina's leaving, she's gonna pick up her. Okay. So, All righty. For church. Okay. For church. Oh, Gina's in, um, I think she's in Australia too. My, um, my recollection. So, I believe I got to shorten that eye a little bit. That eye got a little bit too. There we go. There we go. So I have like a little, a uh, tiny little almond shaped eye that I'm gonna mess up right now. Okay, and now I have to do some nostrils, which I tend to forget. I do some the nostril mouth combo right here. Okay, and do a nostril here. Okay. So that's kind of done. <clears throat> I have the little horse done. And then the hardest horse, what am I doing on time? Oh, 7.43. Oh, okay. So I have one more horse to do, and that's this guy right here. So I'm going to outline him so you get to see him. And they usually have a little bit of a sway back. And a, he's running. Okay. Got a little muscle here. And <clears throat> he's gonna have ears here. Okay. Top of his head, another ear. And and then this is gonna be straight. That's what keeps it from looking like a dog. And then it dips down. I don't know what these pieces and parts are called. I'm gonna switch over to a tinier brush. Just for a little more detail. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I wanna outline that because if it's not outlined correctly, we're in trouble. Leanne says have a drink. Yeah, right? Okay, so I'm gonna dip down a little bit 
right here at the bottom part. And that, that's some part of the horse's face. It dips down. Okay. And then, of course, the eyes. All right. Then. I think, I think it's painting. You said it's very, very good and pretty. You like it, Peyton. Thank you. You know, this is your, this was your choice. Now, this horse is going to be running. So, this horse. His leg is going to be extended out, way out here. Let me go ahead and make my brush skinnier. The way I make my brush skinnier is uh, to dip it in water and, and loosen up that the paint so that it's more liquid. And then you're going to see that leg extend way out. Then you'll see that back leg, just part of it. And that's the thing, you don't, you hardly in these paintings see the whole, whole leg. Same thing with the front. Front's going to be the same way. You'll see this uh, muscle here. And you're going to see this leg come from the back and go way out. He's like stepping. And you'll see this underneath. And it's going to be a little high heel shoe at the end. And then this, uh, this right here. Okay? So, then you're going to see this leg, part of the leg, come out. Okay, so now I'm going to brown him up so you can see him better. Get some quinacridone, which I'm running out of. <clears throat> have stuff to drink. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you're painting with me, uh, you could come in and out. I don't have to know about it. You can uh, leave, go take care of business, come back, stretch, drink, because you could always watch it on the replay. Okay? So, don't forget, you can always do that. Okay, and I'm putting some, some strong colors in here. I'm going to make this color strong right here. All right. And then, okay. Now, here's something I'm going to do that's going to really give it this horse thing. This is the horsey thing. I'm going to make a skinny line right here. Sippy, sippy, Angie. I know, right? Where's my quinacrid on in yellow? Okay. So this part right here, there, that's what I wanted. And I want kind of a muscle here. <clears throat> and then this thing. You always see that. So that must be, you know, how they're made. That must be their muscle. And then down here. Okay. And then the rest is going to be more brownish. The rest is brown. So I get a little yellow with that brown. So the rest is like that. It's got some mixtures in here. It's got a little bit of mixture in there. Definitely got to darken that up a little bit. Darken this bottom part. And that's it. That's it. I'm going to tweak it later, I'm sure. I'm going to... G. Brody says hello. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Okay. All right. And let me get my browns. My browns come down. My brown comes down around here. My really dark brown. Crystal says, I'm always late to the party. But <laughs> it looks fantastic. <laughs> Okay, Crystal. 
I'm the same way. Um, I I was late. I was in the habit of being late to my own party. <laughs> oh, okay. And then of course I have to do the nostril thing, which I tend to forget. I gotta do the nostril thing right here. Whoa. Let me water this down a little bit. And that's basically my brown, my really dark brown. And do a little eye thing. Oh, eyes more in the front. And then I gotta come down here a little bit. And then the rest of that is kind of a brown. So they just like with these horses, they like to emphasize the muscles going through stuff. You know, that's kind of how they do it. But anyways, uh, I'm not the equestrian. I'm not the equestrian, but that's kind of how... Now, the fun part about this particular horse, get a little bit of phalo blue mixed with my um, burnt umber. The fun part about this horse is this part right here. Woo! This is the fun part. So I'm flicking. I'm flicking. Flicking that, what do you call it, mane? I tend to give people qualities. This is a poor horse. Give him a little hair up here. All right. Outline him down here a little bit more. Get dark with that leg. And that's kind of it. Oh, I'm going to make this little hoof thing here a little show up a little bit. And a little down here. And let's see, what do I have? And a little right here, the little high heel shoe. Okay. Okay. And then that's about, guys, I think, for now. I might tweak when I get done. But I think that's about it. I think that's my horses in the field. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. I'm going to darken this uh, tail up a little bit so his hair is all the same color all over. Yes, the main. Peyton is very impressed. Peyton is? Peyton, I got to get you painting, Peyton. Painting, Peyton. All right. I'm going to leave well enough alone. And this kind of looks like a deer, but that's okay. What do I know, you know? That's okay. It's supposed to be a horse. It's supposed to be a horse. That's okay. G. Brody says, thank you. Gotta run. Love All right. Bugs. I'm going to switch over. I'm going to switch over right now so I can talk to you. I'm going to switch over. There you go. I wonder if I could... Uh, Woo. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. What time is it? Oh my goodness! I, I'm glad I didn't go over. All right. I hope you all enjoyed it. Oh my my goodness. Let's see. See what I got here going on. Okay. I'm going to turn it up a little bit of music, jazz it up in here a little bit. All right. I'm going to see if I can find your chat. There you are. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to look at you guys and see who is here. Leanne. Danielle. Hi, Danielle. George was supposed to tell me who was here. Kathy. Oh my goodness, Elena, Belinda, Leanne, Juliet, Mark, the Tacky Painter. Uh, let's see, Thomas was here? Gina, Trish, Belinda, who else? Did I skip somebody? 
Free your mind art. He's got to give me his name, but I know, I think he's with CAC, I believe. Gina, Crystal, hi everybody. Thank you so much for coming. They said too loud. Oh, the music's too loud. Sorry. And my microphone is way back here behind me too. Wait, hang on. All right. Let me bring it around here. Okay, thank you so much for coming, everybody. Be your mind is Stuart. Oh, Stuart. Oh, um. Yes, I know who he is. I'm going to try to get him to paint with me on a um, on a collab. Oh, thank you, Leanne. Leanne says the galloping horse looks great. Danielle says looks fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we have um, we have collabs, everybody, from time to time. And if you want me to let you know when we have these collabs, those of you in the group, I will let you know. I just don't want to be like coming off like I'm promoting myself all the time. But if you want me to let you know on our group when we have these collabs, I will let you know because I do want you guys to see everyone else's work as well. And we have a whole lot of fun doing those. Oh, there's Jada. Hi, Jada. Were you here? Still working on her horses. Ah, oh, are you painting with me? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take a peek at some of these. I'm um, glad we had such a nice little group. That was awesome. I'm not going to keep you on very long. I'm going to sign off. And um, you could tweak these things. Just pull up on Google some horses and some running horses and get those shadows and highlights in. That's, that's, that's the thing. Okay. All righty. Okay. It was good seeing everybody. Oh, wait. I skipped somebody. No, I didn't. It was good seeing everybody. Thank you for coming. I'm so appreciative when you come and when you jump in. Oh, and Thomas. Bye, Thomas. I love you. Love everybody. Thomas is my grandson. Oh, Gail. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Gail's always had trouble getting on here. I'm so happy you made it. Did you come in using the link? All right, so I'm going to try to keep doing that all the time. All right, bye, everybody. See ya. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to like, subscribe, um, comment later when you come back and look at the video, okay? See you later and share. Okay, bye-bye. Kisses. Bye-bye.